Hello, I'm here to show you how to do a tutorial for the next project, which is going to be Keith Haring Inspired. At this point, we should all have a photo of ourselves posing in an expressive motion. So from here, we are going to import our photo, and I showed you how to do that in class. Next, we're going to add a layer. So we're gonna rename this layer and rename it Outlines. So once you have your Outlines layer, you wanna be in that layer and select Black. Make sure you have Black selected because we want our figure to be outlined in Black. You can also select the Brush um, Studio Pen. From here, we're going to trace the outline of our figure in motion. Remember that we're keeping Keith Haring's inspired artwork in mind. So we want these lines to be bold and not sharp. They're almost like bubble figures. It doesn't have to stay exactly on track with the figure. As long as you get the proportions close to what they are and what you see in the photo. So Remember, if you don't like something, you can always go back and change it. I'm going to mute my photo here and see what the outline looks like. I think this looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna see if I can make the head a little bigger though. And by doing this, I'll erase what I have already by getting the eraser tool and erasing just that part of the head. So now I'm going to trace a bigger circle for the head and check to see what that looks like without my photo. I think that looks a little silly, so I'm going to go back and try one more time and make it right in between those two sizes. So here I check it and I like it, but I can add some more lines to emphasize the head of the figure. Next, we're going to be cleaning up the figure a little bit. So you can zoom in and select the eraser again. This is going to make our lines look sharp and mimic how clean and sharp Keith Haring's lines look in his artwork. So take your time and make the lines look like they don't have any jagged edges or anything that you might not think looks smooth. So when I zoom out here, I'm going to select my brush again, and I'm going to add a horizon line. So this will break up my illustration a little bit. Now I have a ground for my figure to stand on and a background, which is above. It's time to add color. So I'm going to select bright colors for this because I want to mimic Keith Haring's style. And this is very simple. I just hold the color that I want, I'll show you again, and drag it and drop it in that area. This works because it's sealed off. There are no holes for the, the color to seep through into the other sections of my drawing. I'll show you what I mean. So next I'm going to select pink for the sky and maybe it's a sunset, I drag and drop and it doesn't go into the figure because everything is sealed off around the figure. Next, I'm going to select a color for the figure itself. So I chose blue. I'm going to um, select a blue shade that I like and drag and drop the color into the character's form right inside and now we have the outline and colors for the base of our drawing. Now it's time to add the expression lines. And if you noticed, I did not remember to change my ink to black. So I'm going to go back, change it to black and add these little expressive lines to show and exaggerate even more movement. There's some lines coming out of the head to show movement in the arms and legs. And you can put some in the ground too. So next, I think I wanna add a moon or something in the sky. 
just to add some detail and draw the eye somewhere else, like there's something going on. So I might try to draw a moon. And remember, if we don't like something or we mess up, we can always hit the undo button on the left side of the screen. And I'm thinking that I want to make it a sun. So I'm going to erase the moon and make it a sun. I'm actually going to make it a bright yellow sun, the brightest yellow I can find. Drag and drop the yellow into the sun. And there you have it. You are now transformed into a Keith Haring drawing. And with every piece of art, we don't want to forget our signature at the bottom right of our artwork. So everybody knows that that is ours and we've created it. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see all of your Keith Haring inspired artworks.